Hey guys, it's me Yuki Plays, and today I show the Longstruck Type Z build. A very overpowered and broken pistol that does a lot of damage to all enemies repeatedly. It's this weapon here. A lot of players likes to use it because it does a lot of damage and it's easy to use. But why it's easy to use is because you can make an animation skip with this and then shoot all the time, <laughs> repeatedly. It's the quick shot skill and I'm gonna show it later how you can play with this. But first let me show you how you can get this weapon. The first way you can get it is in a BOB simulation reception. You go to the Grandmaster class and the final battles, the final floor, there's Livre and Livre is gonna drop it eventually. Just a little bit of luck. The second way and a little bit harder is on a co-op mission hardcore and special invitation beta and no not beta sorry alpha and gamma alpha and gamma there you can get it a little bit hard but th those missions aren't that hard it's only the challenge that is hard but invitation is it's okay you just need a little bit of practice but alpha and gamma and the last way you can get it, but the hardest way, I'm not gonna recommend it. It's on the Abyssal Dungeon from Zodiac Crown, floor 47 to 49. Uh, I won't do it if I will be you. Just uh, choose one of those other two missions and you can <laughs> easy farm it. Okay, if you manage to farm it, then I'm going to show you my stats now. 127 strength, so you can wield the long stroke type Z. Low vitality, that's the one negative point on this build. You don't have defense at all, so be careful. 231 intelligence, because of the buffs. Agility, so you are fast and have a little bit of defense, even though it's not that much as you can see, because 5000 is actually a minimum. And then you put max dex and max luck. Now I show you my weapons and equipment. As you can see, I have my LMG Moonlight Tree for the buffs. Then I have my long stroke type Z. There you can see my chips as well. It has has a lot of critical rate. That's why it does a lot of damage. Then I have this one. You get this one from Bounty. So you have to farm Bounty to get those. But you have to farm it twice. Because I have it twice. Because of the recharge time, as you can see. 25% and you have it two times, it's 50%. And then you can use the skill very very often and that is what is important on this build okay now i show you the skills for my pistol i have hyper awareness so i i'm not dying because of the defense so be very careful quick shot three and quick shot two those two are important for this build you will use those a lot and then viral shot, so to debuff the enemy. Then I have power field shot 4, guard field shot 4, skill field shot 4, and speed from 4 on my SMG Moonlight. Those are for the buffs, and because I can't use my skill freeze on my pistol because I need those two quick shots, I have skill freeze shot 4 here. So as you can see, no human fortress, because it's a very risky build, but if you know how to play it, it's very fun. Now my gadgets. I have first aid kit 2, anti helmet kit 2, stun trap and my camouflage. Um, I don't know why camouflage, come on, come on. maybe I did camouflage because of Livre. So she can hit me with, the, with her black hole, but mostly I put anti AR veil inside, so it's up to you what you do it. All right, guys, and that's the build. Um, you can try it yourself, but uh, there's one important thing. Maybe you should continue watching because it's about the quick shots thing. 
you have to time it as well. I recommend you watch still, but if you don't want to, then thanks for watching and see you in the next video. But for the people that are interested about this, we're going inside now. Alright guys. There we are. Okay, now I'm fully buffed. As you can see, I have to uh, long shot type C and you have to zoom and use the skill at the same time. Like zoom, uh, zoom skill, zoom skill. And like this, looks like this. As you can see. No animation at all. If you, if you don't do this, you just have this animation here and she re reloads and you don't want that. You want to do this quick. And that's how you do it. See, and like this you can kill <laughs> very fast. That's the trick with this build. That's why everyone uses that. But there are even some players that use that, that don't use the uh, quick shot skill because... I don't know. Maybe <laughs> this weapon is just good. Sometimes I don't do it right and I accidentally have to do animation. <laughs> you can do this uh, animation skip even though with other weapons, uh, with other skills. He's annoying me now. There we have it. And if you have weapon art with a the pistol, then you <laughs> it's even more faster. Then you can imagine how fast it will be. It's a very good belt. But since a lot of people are using that, it's it's commonly that you will see a lot of people with that. Oh no. Oh, they move too much. They move too much. Oh yeah, and I don't have Metal Gog at 100% as well, so I lack on damage. So if you have a full team, it's going to be more useful than solo. There we go. I'm like pretty tired when I upload this video today. That's why I'm I sound like not so motivated. I'm sorry for that. And I don't talk so much. But I still make a spot for you guys.
Okay, now the bosses. Oh god, now he's in rage mode. Still freeze. Oh! He just stands still for me. Perfect! guys and that's how the build works <laughs> hope you enjoyed it and you're gonna test it let me know what you think about this build and tell me in the comments is it good is it bad I don't know you're gonna tell me <laughs> I like it I like it because you need a little bit of skill and the animation skip is isn't that isn't that easy to use oh well that's it for me guys thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.